This is St. Stephen's Church in Tunbridge. I'm the Reverend Mark Barker, I'm vicar here. I've been vicar here for 20 years now. We do a lot in the community. It's um, a very busy church. Today we've got our community cafe open. We invite lots of different agencies in. Uh, there's craft group in. But we also have tables where people from the community can just come in, chat to others, um, get to know us. We look after about 50 to 60 families a week with their food needs. And we also run a full-time preschool um, in our church hall. So the footfall through the building is considerable each week. Obviously opening a church on more days than just a Sunday means that we have to heat the church and we have to light the church and we have to have the energy of keeping um, the cafe area going. As a result, the usage of energy is quite high. Cost was beginning to really spiral, but we really felt it was really important to get the church open. And so we've been looking for ways to reduce our energy costs and also the effect on the environment. So we began small with deciding to change our light bulbs in church to LED light bulbs. So this is what we originally had, which is a 100 watt halogen lamp mould, which generates a lot of heat and uses a lot of energy. Uh, we then replaced it with a 16 watt LED. So instantly you've gone from 100 to 16, so you're making a massive saving. In the um, first four months of this year has mean we've made an energy saving of about two and a half thousand pounds. Reducing our energy usage means that we can now think about solar panels. Because we've changed our lighting from halogen to LED, uh, it's also impacted on how many solar panels we would need. So our bill for the solar panel install is going to probably go from about £120,000 down to £40,000. I think as Christians the environment is very, very important to us. We are called to be good stewards of creation um, and it's part of loving our, our world, loving our neighbours um, and caring for, for our whole world. We need to look after this wonderful creation that God's given us. Do the energy audit first. It gives you something to work to. It may give you ideas. And if you're looking at changing LED lights, change one, see if it works. As a church, we can do a small part. Every one of us can do a little thing. And we're hoping that we can make a difference as a church and believe that we are beginning to do so. We're going net zero carbon by 2030. <laughs>